Since the addition of V-Shift, many offensively minded characters have had to rethink how they do offense. From breaking pressure strings to getting easy escapes against grapplers, it's a powerful option that you have to be ready to shut down. This guide will show off a throw option select that M. Bison can use to shut down a defensive V-Shift in addition to a variety of other options. As Bison, you'll need to be equipped to stop V-Shifts in two particular spots. After a combo that ends with you being plus two against a standing opponent, and on wake up after your main combo enters that knock the opponent down. Standing situations are mostly from ending a combo with a knee press. The main times that this will happen is from a light low confirm in which a light knee press is your only special to cancel into, and after a combo into a heavy knee press meant to take advantage of the close distance your opponent is left at. The knockdown setups just require you to be at least plus two and at a very close distance. If you're in a knockdown where you are insanely plus, like after a crush counter sweep, it may be worth just waiting to set up the option select instead. Bison has a lot of options to get these knockdowns, so experiment to find what works. With some ways to set it up laid out, it's time to go over how this OS works against common defensive options. Here's a chart with how strong this setup is against each of these wake-up options. The option select starts with a throw. Since you're doing a throw at plus two, this will be a wake-up button, a blocking opponent, certain parry attacks that aren't triggered by a throw, and an opponent doing nothing. Generally, this is what you'll want to happen, but this is just the start of how you can open up your opponent. For an opponent ready for a throw, the options they will go for are a throw tech, jump, invincible reversal, backdash, or of course, a v-shift. While it would sound like these options would kill the mix-up, you are well equipped to counter a few of them. A wake-up DP or reversal CA is just the risk of playing offense and this setup is no different. It will beat the throw attempt on their wake-up. If you have a good read on it, avoid it by walking back and try to block it. Throw tech is also just an option you'll have to accept and prepare for next time. Get a feel for it, then punish with a shimmy when you get the chance. Backdash occupies a weird spot because it's not universal. The same thing that's a punish on one character is just a way to keep your turn on another. Jump and V-Shift are where things get interesting, with both giving you solid opportunities to punish. For a jump, you'll recover from the throw in time to get a chance to end here. What you'll be trying to get changes depending on the jump direction. I'll first show off a more realistic punish, then a max reward one that you can go for if you're ready for it. V-Shift gives a nice punish in addition to the opponent losing a stock of V-Bar. You'll always be at least plus 6 after your throw recovers, so you can go to Crouch Medium Punch to punish. Not only that, but you get to use the guaranteed counter hit to your advantage. The combo to go for here can change depending on screen position. To side switch with the back throw, hold down back while attempting the throw. Either you'll have the option countered, land your back throw and corner the opponent, or you can punish the V-Shift with the Crouch Medium Punch canceled into a heavy knee press. If you wish to keep your screen position, stay neutral when doing the throw. 
The option once again will either be countered, land the better throw option, or allow a V-shift punish. Here, use a crouch medium punch cancelled into a heavy inferno and pick up the juggle you want to at the end. These are the basics of this tech. You can use either of your V-Skills and V-Triggers or spend some meter to suit the situation best. To end off, here's a showcase of some of the best ways to change up the routes. Thanks for watching.